I'm going to be making my bread dough out of one of my favorite bakers in Copenhagen and he is Klaus Schmeier and he has a book and it's in English, thank God. And so you can probably get this from your local bookstores or you can order it online. And um, the reason why I really like his book is because in Denmark, they use a lot of fresh grains and then they um, put them all into their bread dough. And I am going to show you how I do it in my home with this little guy, which is a grain mill. And obviously not everybody is going to have this at home and anyone who knows me knows that I have a lot of gadgets. But if you're serious about bread making, I highly recommend this because it will be a very good investment for your bread making future. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put my grains and this is farro and then I will put some wheat berries. And I just kind of eyeball it because I know at the end how much um, I will need to put in my flour. So I like to put some oat. And these are all whole grains, so it's very, very easy to find. And a little bit of barley. And in quarantine times, this is how you don't have to go hoard flour. Because you make your own. So here, here are the flour, and the one good thing also uh, that I like about this particular grinder or grain mill is because you can um, get as coarse as you like or as fine as you like. And of course, because I'm making bread, I want mine to be pretty, pretty fine. And so this is the the flour that you just made. So I was able to get my hands on this particular purple flour when I was at the bakery. And um, if you happen to be in Copenhagen and want to buy some, you can go to the bakery and get some from them directly because they do not sell it anywhere else in the world. So, um, and it's a very, very good purple flour. Um, a wheat flour to have when you're making bread. Okay, so we're gonna start with adding the water and I usually like filter water. And then I'm gonna add starter and you can use any kind of starter I'm gonna do a separate um, video on my own starter and the salt oh actually no sorry the yeast you want to make sure that the yeast never touch the salt when you're adding it because it deactivates the yeast and then you add the flour so that was the whole grain flour I made and then this is just regular bread flour and you can play around with um, any kind of combination of the bread flour and the whole grain flour once you get to know your dough well. And then all you have to do now is to mix it together. And like they say, even the four-year-old can do this. And 
you just make it into a mass. And then cover it and let it sit for however many hours you like. The longer it sits, the, the more sour it will get because um, it will, it will um, ferment. Okay, and there you have it. This is probably the easiest dough that anyone can think of. And then you just leave it for 18 hours or just overnight. And if you like my video, please like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.